Hey everybody. In this video, we're gonna look at the quotient rule. The quotient rule is just another continuation of our derivative practices where we have specific circumstances that we are trying to work through. In this particular case, the quotient rule comes when we are dealing with a rational function. So if we have a rational function uh, like f of x here, the way that we learn or that we, we do the quotient rule is oftentimes when I was coming up, uh, I learned it through uh, the yodel, as some of my teachers called it. But the yodel went uh, low, which meant the denominator, d high, low d high, which the d high meant derivative of the numerator, minus high d low, derivative of the denominator, all over low low, which is just h of x squared. So following this pattern, um, the quotient rule typically, it, it can be very tricky at times just depending on what you are looking at. This is just going to be a uh, video of the basic functions, but check out the, the, the other video that I've posted that has more of some complex derivatives in there, uh, just in case you're dealing with things like e to the x or the natural log of x within a uh, quotient rule problem. But uh, for the time being, we're going to focus on this type of um, pattern here, and we are going to use it to solve some of these problems. So looking at this very first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that pattern. I want to find Q of X. So Q prime of X is um, low D high. So the derivative of that numerator function is just a power rule problem. So it's going to give me 6X minus high d low so the derivative of the denominator is just four all over low squared so let's go ahead and simplify and i will say one of the most commonly missed things is that a lot of times we forget to uh distribute that negative to both terms within that um the parentheses there so I'm gonna take my time I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that 6x to everything within this I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the 4 to everything in that set of parentheses but I'm gonna keep the negative there and then do it last okay so I have 24 x squared minus 12 x minus 3 oops sorry that's gonna be uh, 12 x squared plus 4 all over and I'm gonna keep the denominator here the same just in case uh, just for now and if I need to simplify later on we can um, so now I'm gonna distribute that negative to everything in that parentheses and while some people can go ahead and just do it outright I like to go slow because it's again one of the most commonly missed things that I see uh, when I'm when I'm grading these types of problems so 24 X squared minus 12 X minus 12x squared minus 4 all over 4x minus 2 squared. So I'm going to continue on up here. Go ahead and simplify. I want to combine my like terms. So we have 24x uh, squared minus 12x squared gives me 12x squared minus 12x minus 4 all over 4x minus 2 squared and let's just simplify that numerator a little bit and that'll give us our final uh, stage for q prime so I can factor out that 4 and that's going to give me 3x squared minus 3x minus 1 over 4x minus 2 squared and that is really a basic demonstration of the quotient rule so again, I'm just following my, uh, my little pattern of low D high minus high D low all over low low. All right, so let's try another problem here. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. We got a trigonometric function in here. Um, but again, following the same principles, uh, I have S prime of X equals low times the derivative of the high, which we know to be cosine of X minus high, so sine of X, d low so the derivative of that denominator is simply uh, 8x all over 4x squared squared all right 
So let's uh, clean it up a little bit. I have S prime of X equals, well, when we can't factor anything out uh, too much, we can factor out a 4X from the, um, from the numerator. So I can factor out a 4X. That's gonna give me X cosine of X minus, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna commute 8X and sine X here uh, to give me two sine of X all over. And now this is also a, a key importance here. This two here is going to square everything within the parentheses. So make sure that as we are performing that operation there, we wind up with 16X to the fourth power. All right, and this is gonna be very helpful now because these two things can help us simplify a little bit. So our final answer is going to be S prime of X equals X cosine of X minus two sine of X all over. Well, when we basically simplify this out, it gives us 4x cubed, all right? Sometimes I was kind of stammering there because I was thinking about this in terms of 1 fourth, and um, I just don't want to confuse anybody. So if you don't understand what that meant, please ignore it and just enjoy that that is a beautiful quotient rule problem. And I appreciate you checking out the video. So uh, check out the chain rule or check out the other derivative videos if you still have questions on them. And uh, thanks for checking out the video.